Good afternoon, my dear students. Welcome to Computer Online Class. How are you doing? I hope everyone is doing good, right? Okay. In today's class, we are going to continue Chapter Two, that is Parts of a Computer, right? Do you remember we have learned the parts of a computer in the last class? Yes. Can you tell me what are the parts of a computer? Yes. Very good. Monitor. CPU, keyboard, mouse, speaker, and printer. Yes, these are the main parts of a computer. Say once again, monitor, CPU, keyboard, mouse, speaker, and printer. Okay. So in today's class, we are going to learn about monitor and CPU in detail. Okay. So I hope everyone is clear with the parts of a computer, right? See, can you able to identify the parts? Just see this picture once. Next, we'll move on to the detailed explanation of monitor and CPU. Okay? So these are the parts of a computer, right? Are you clear? Okay. This is a monitor, right? This is the monitor, computer monitor. What is the use of this computer monitor? It shows the work that you do on the computer. Whatever work you do on a computer, it will be displayed in the computer monitor. Okay. So a monitor is a part of a computer which shows the work you do on the computer. Whatever you type using the keyboard, it will be shown on the computer monitor. Suppose you are playing a video, then you can see it on the computer monitor, right? If you draw a picture, then you can see on the computer monitor. Okay. So whatever work you do, you can see on a computer monitor. A monitor looks like a television, right? In the last class, I have told you, right? A monitor, it's looking like a TV, television. Okay. So, you can see pictures and words and whatever, maybe movies, cartoons, uh, everything you can see on a computer monitor. See this? You can see the cartoon picture on a computer monitor, right? Yes. Okay, are you clear with the computer monitor? So, which part show you the work do you do on a computer monitor? Very good. Then, uh, which part of computer looks like a television? Monitor. Okay, so you can also watch uh, movies and you can uh, play games on a, a computer. You can visually see those things using the computer monitor. Next is CPU cabinet. See this picture? So this box, can you see? Yes, this is the CPU cabinet or CPU box. Okay, so a CPU cabinet is a box that contains a CPU. See inside the CPU box, you can see the CPU. Okay, so what is the full form of the CPU? CPU stands for Central Processing Unit. Okay, this is very, very important. What is the full form of CPU? Central Processing Unit. Say once again, full form of CPU is Central Processing Unit. Unit okay, C E N T R A L central processing P R O C E S S I N G processing unit U N I T unit okay. So, what is the full form of CPU? Central processing unit okay. Don't forget this, this is very very important. And CPU works like the brain of a computer. See, where is your brain? Do you have brain? Yes, everything is stored in your brain, right? Okay, similarly, in a computer, the CPU acts like a brain. Okay, so CPU is the brain of a computer. So, which part of computer is called the brain? CPU is called the brain of the computer. This is also very, very important. Okay, so the CPU cabinet is also called CPU box. Okay. So, you understood about CPU, all about CPU and CPU cabinet. So, what is the full form of CPU? Central Processing Unit. Okay. Which part is called brain of a computer? CPU. Okay. So, are you clear with this? Okay. Okay. 
Okay, dear children, in today's class, we have seen in detail about monitor and CPU, right? So, monitor, it looks like a TV. And CPU, it's the brain of the computer, okay? And what is the full form of CPU? Central processing unit, okay? So, this is very simple. In today's class, we have learned in clear about a CPU and a monitor, right? So, remaining parts will uh, explain in the next classes. Okay, so thank you dear children. Have a great day.